Have you ever wondered what your hometown might look like millions of years ago? Well, that's my question. So I'm going down to Cove Springs Park to look at some brachiopods and hopefully determine what Kentucky might have looked like millions of years ago based on what I can find in the limestone. We're gonna go up this road here and look at the limestone to see if we can find any brachiopods here today. It's not limestone, it's litter. Therefore, there are no brachiopods inside of it. This great example of some limestone with many brachiopods inside of it. Look at this piece of seemingly normal limestone that I found. But, turn it over, and oh my goodness, guys, it's some, it's some humongous brachiopod. What an exhilarating adventure we had. Let's go back and see what more information that we can find on these brachiopods. All right, guys, now we're back from our adventure. So let's do a recap on what brachiopods are. Brachiopods are marine bottom dwellers. Brachiopods are also not like clams and oysters, although they're similar. Brachiopods are different from clams and oysters because clams and oysters are bivalves, which means that they're from a different phylum or taxonomic category. But what does this mean exactly for Kentucky? Using all of this information I found out, I can determine that Kentucky was probably once under a salt body of water. I can also determine that Kentucky was in a warm climate with a whole bunch of sea life. We're here out on the I-27. Fuck you, bitch! Anyway, penis. <laughs> Let's admire these beautiful brachiopods that died for our sins. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at all these brachiopods. And look, they're ginormous. These are the biggest 